All right, today is Saturday, May 15th, 2021. This is a video of my 61 Impala uh, bubble top up on the lift. I finished this car uh, earlier this year. I'm gonna be listing this car for sale. So I wanted to do a thorough uh, walkthrough of the car so that nobody is misled on what they're potentially buying. Um, so to start out, I got this car about two years ago. Uh, out of Oklahoma and I was told that it was previously owned by the owner of uh, Street and Performance I don't I can't verify that but uh, it's a pretty solid car it was a solid car to start uh, the lower quarters were previously replaced um, it has uh, original doors to the car and original fenders original hood and trunk um, so what the process was uh, took this thing off the frame I had the underside uh, sandblasted, a mobile sandblaster. I then uh, got it in a, a epoxy primer, and then we Raptor lined, tinted Raptor liner the uh, the floor pan underneath to match the color of the outside of the car, which is a destroyer gray or ceramic gray. It's a, a Dodge Jeep gray that's on the Challengers, it's on some Jeeps, it's on uh, Chargers. Uh, but I'm going to do a walk around on the outside of the car once I get it down off the lift. But this is for the underside. So, like I say, the floor pans were sandblasted and coated in the Raptor. Um, the frame was completely taken apart. It was sent off to sandblast and powder coat. It's gloss black. The powder coat job is uh, decent. It's pretty clean. Uh, it's got a stock rear end. It's got an adjustable pan hard bar. It's got rear disc brakes. Uh, tubular uh, lower control arms, tubular banana bar, uh, it's got lowering springs, it's got custom dual exhaust, uh, everything on this car is brand new. It's got a little bit of action going on here. Um, I keep this car in an uninsulated shop so there's a lot of humidity going on which might, ex might explain that. Uh, all new gas and brake lines. A brand new gas tank. Let me uh, let me redo the setting on this. That's better. Brand new gas tank and straps. Everything underneath the car is brand new. Um, this car has about 10 miles on it since it's done. It's got a uh, performance drive line slip yoke drive shaft. Haven't hooked up the emergency brakes yet. Um, like I say, brand new uh, steel, stainless steel gas and brake lines. So all underneath was coated. Uh, this entire build was documented on my YouTube channel. I have videos and pictures of the whole process. I did this car 100% here at my house um, by myself with a couple friends. I didn't bother on fixing the inner rockers right there. Um, Guess you could say I got lazy, but I also wanted to preserve that because that's the extent of the uh, rust on the car. So I want to leave that there just so the potential buyer can understand that it was a good it's a good car to start with. Original floor pans, original bracing. This side doesn't have any any corrosion. It's got a. Magnaflow exhaust, like I say, it was custom bent at a muffler shop. So it's all color matched underneath. Uh, up to the front here. Let me get turned around. So it's got a 700R transmission. It's got a tubular mount. Transmission was rebuilt. Uh, it shifts all four gears fine. Speedometer does work. Uh, it's got a brand new Crate 350. I don't have a flywheel cover. Brand new Crate 350 that I uh, painted and dressed up. I'll do that whenever I do the walk around on the outside. Front floor pan. Like I say it's all color matched. It's got a uh, low car shifter. 
adjustable shifting linkage. Tubular front uh, upper and lower control arms, disc brakes in the front, wheel wood, uh, lowering springs in the front, brand new uh, steering linkage, CPP adjustable uh, tie rods, billet, black billet, new center link, new pitman, new idler, uh, new tie rods of course, sway bar links, the whole job. Uh, transmission coolant lines, it's got a champion radiator four row. It's got CPP 500 steering. Uh, the wheel wells were also uh, sandblasted and coated in Raptor, so they match underneath. They're painted up top. Uh, that's about it. Like I say, everything was taken apart. It's been sitting uh, since it was done for a few, several months, uh, probably about six months. Uh, just work on it when I have time and uh, like I say, I've driven it about 10 miles maybe just up and down the road Trying to work the bugs out so far. I really don't see a whole lot of bugs. Uh, there's not really any oil leaks uh, It doesn't overheat has electric fans speedometer does work um, So I don't really foresee any major issues with the car of course, it's 60 some years old So you can expect some issues down the road um, it's got the Coker fat white wall. These are, I, I believe they're called Coker classic 215, 75, 14. They look like bias ply, but they're, they're radial. It's got new old stock, uh, 61 hubcaps. And these are G body wheels that I had to weld some nubs on the, on the wheels to accept the hubcaps because 61 caps need those nubs. So. That was kind of an experiment, but so far so good. Like I say, the hubcaps were bought new old stock. The tires are also new. Um, I guess that's about it for underneath. I'll give it another walkthrough here. Like I say, everything was new on this car. It's all gloss black underneath. Um, yeah, new crate motor, 700R. Slip yoke drive shaft, custom exhaust, coated uh, to match floor pans. Um, it's got the American Auto Wire uh, uh, what you call it? Pressure switch, um, kick down cable functions. So like I say, stock rear end. That's probably the weakest link on the entire car, but it serves its purpose. Uh, all new body bushings. I think these are spoon tubular arms that came with the car. Uh, they're pretty cool. We did replace the center trunk pan. That was it wasn't it wasn't rotted, but it was it was dented pretty good, so that was replaced. So that's nice and fresh. Uh, the valances are original to the car, so they were just body worked and painted. And front and rear. Still got some rubbing compound down here, but that's pretty much it for underneath. Uh, I'm going to let it down, possibly take it outside and, and do a walk around uh, outside of the car. So I'll bring you guys back. All right, so this is going to be the video of the walk around on the outside of the car. Um, so like I said previously, I built this entire car here. In my backyard shop um, paint job is nice it was you it was sprayed in a DBC like I say destroyer gray previously and uh, use some PPG clear also use some SPI clear on some panels uh, paint job is not perfect uh, it has its blemishes here and there but overall it shows I would say it shows pretty pretty good I would feel confident putting this in a show uh, like I say if you want a perfect paint job you know, there's a guy named Jesus down the street. You can take it to him. He's the only one that could do a perfect paint job. Um, overall, like I say, the panels are original to the car. The fenders, the hood, the doors, and the trunk are original to the car. Um, so we'll start with the front end. Everything on the front end is new. Bezels, grill, upper grill, emblem. It's got one-piece California bumper. Bumperettes, license panel. That's the horn wire hanging. I have to do that. Brand new headlights. 
uh, brand new turn signals. Uh, so that's about it for the front. It's got brand new wipers, original cowl, side molding is brand new, reproduction. Uh, original windshield, original side glass to the car. Um, cleaned up pretty good, so I would I just put it back on. It does have new uh, rubber seals. Like I say, brand new wipers. Um, all the stainless was polished. Any rubbers, felts, anything like that involving with a weather strip, all that was replaced. Brand new mirror, door handle, knuckle guards. It's got reproduction skirts. They fit pretty good. And uh, new Impala uh, script there, cross flags. The scallops are originals for the car. I had those replated, triple chrome. It does have a brand new back window, uh, new new rubber seal also, window channel. <clears throat> so like I say, the, the body work is, is good. Um, the paint is more than presentable, but like I say, it's not perfect. Uh, onto the back, it's got a uh, Brand new uh, tail light assemblies, trunk molding, 348 badge, rear one piece bumper, bumperettes were rechromed, license panels new, balances were refinished. Uh, same thing on this side, new side molding. And like I say, this whole thing was documented on my YouTube channel, so anyone interested, can go back and watch the videos. Everything was documented. Um, onto the interior. It's got a brand new Ciadella kit. It has 59 gray uh, vinyl, 64, 63 and 64 armrest bases, 65 and up window cranks. The reason why I did that is because I like the, the chrome knob instead of the black knob. Um, I say C, Ciadella interior kit. Painted speaker in the rear, original. Uh, the chrome polished up just fine. New rear package tray. Headliner molding was also painted. Brand new headliner. Six way power seat. The trim was also painted to match the outside. Uh, it does work. However, it does pop a fuse once in a while. I don't know why, but uh, I mean, it's not like you're sitting there playing with the seat. So to me, that's not a big deal. Usually I set it and forget it. It's got an I did it tilt steering column, uh, original steering wheel that I two-toned. The dash is a light gray color. I believe it's called AccuRide uh, PPG color. It's got brand new dash fascia, three piece. So we're talking instrument cluster, ashtray, glove box door. That was ordered brand new. Uh, it's got a retro sound radio, really, really basic. It doesn't even have Bluetooth. It's just something to listen to. You can plug in your MP3 player, or your phone, or whatever. It's got a dash speaker and a rear speaker, and that's it. Painted the uh, vents on the bottom. New firewall pad. Gas and brake pedal. E-brake pedal's new, but like I said, I don't have e-brakes hooked up yet. Um, brand new rear view. Sun visors came with the interior kit. Like I say, all the headliner molding is painted to match the dash which kind of matches the uh, seat inserts. It's got floor mats, but nothing special. Go around to the other side here. Same thing, new door panel. Everything uh, electronic works on this car from what I see. Uh, it's got a brand new American Auto Wire uh, classic update kit. So that's front to back. That's pretty much it. Tuxedo carpet, gray. Rear seat looks fine. Uh, let me open the trunk here. Like I say, it's kind of been sitting and got to tuck that wire up, but the trunk was uh, it's 
sprayed into matching Raptor also. Body braces are solid. And the floor mats inside, nothing, nothing special. The underside of the trunk was also painted. This trunk was really, really solid. Truck lines up really good. Like I say, it's original to the car. So we'll take you under the hood here. I'll put you down for a minute. So underneath the hood, like I say in the previous video of under the lift, it's got a brand new crate motor, three uh, 350, shorty block huggers, billet transmission dipstick matching gray valve covers with little loom brackets it's got a pulley kit it's not quite a serpentine uh, it doesn't have air conditioning but it is a, a polished pulley kit chrome booster chrome master like i said previously the wheel wells the bottom are raptor liner the top is painted to match the hood hinges were also painted gloss black brand new battery champion four row aluminum radiator dual electric fans New radiator hoses, of course. Uh, Newport Engineering wiper motor, so the wipers do work. Uh, insulation fell off, so I gotta glue that back on. Uh, that's about it under the hood. The block is painted to match. New fuel pump. Uh, power steering pump's new, doesn't leak. Uh, it's got the Edelbrock intake with a AVS carburetor, I believe it's 750 cc or something like that, 750, 700, somewhere around there. Uh, that's about it. Like I say, it's got the I did it steering column with the U joints going to the 500 gearbox. The firewall was shaved, molded. Like I say, I did this car 100% here at my house. The only thing that wasn't done here was the uh, powder coating. And that's it. Uh, the bumpers already came with the car, so they were already chrome plated. But uh, just give you a quick walk around here. Like I say, it's got the NOS hubcaps. The windows roll up and down fine. The manual doors close good. I line up pretty good. I'll start it up for a second here. So like I say, this thing really only has about 10 miles up and down the road here. I haven't really taken it on the highway. I really honestly don't even have time. Uh, get the key out here. Should start up, starts up pretty good for the most part. Right, guys so to wrap up this video here um, this car is for sale reason selling I have three cars I don't even have time to really drive one I got the 61 I still have the 64 and I just got another little project to play with so this car's for sale it's got a clear and clean Texas title in my name it's stored at my house so I'm not some kind of car flipper on the internet buy and resell uh, I built this car and I'm ready to sell it. Um, now the million dollar question is how much do I want for it? Uh, when I put it out there, I'm gonna be asking $58,000 for this car. 
that's a small fortune. Um, but this car does have a lot of work to it. Uh, inside and out, it's basically a brand new car. It's also a bubble top, kind of hard to find, not impossible, but it's definitely not a 64. So, uh, any questions, you guys can hit me up on the YouTube or Instagram, but I'm going to be posting this thing here for sale shortly with a bunch of pictures and, and all that good stuff, a full write-up description of what I just said on the video. Um, so like I say, I think this is a pretty honest car. Uh, I know every single square inch of this car, uh, literally. So I know what I'm selling. Uh, like I say, I didn't just get this car last week, selling it before I even get a title in my name. No, we're not doing that. So if anyone's interested, like I say, you could hit me up. There is some wiggle room. There is some wiggle room, but I encourage any uh, potential buyer to come and see the car in person. Uh, this car will be sold as is, where is, no warranty, no refund, cash only, uh, maybe a trade. The only thing I would consider trading for is a 60 Impala convertible. I would go project with some cash on top, but I'm not interested in any other cars. Um, so that's a wrap. Like I say, for sale. Anyone interested, leave a comment below. Or you can message me on Instagram, Lone Star Lowe's. And look forward to getting this thing out of here. Y'all stay tuned for more work.